Hello, I'm Blair Stone, farming at uh, Marchagee or South Wadi Forest. Went to uni after high school, did the town planning at university, always wanted to come back to the farm, so um, yeah, eventually got round to convincing my parents to let me come home and start off with seeding and then weasel my way into full time, so yeah, that's kind of how it worked out. <laughs> been here ever since, so. Uh, I've been back on the farm for about seven years. Um, I think my first two years I was also working on neighbouring farms for things like harvest and I did CBH for a couple of years, Receival Point Officer. So I learnt a lot about grain quality and <laughs> what they're expecting there. So, um, yep, but always wanted to get back onto the farm and be helping out here. So, yeah. One farm here, which we would call South Wadi Forest, is predominantly loams, heavy clays, going down to some uh, lighter loams in, in patches. And then on our other places, we've got some more gravel and, and uh, lighter sand plain type soil. So, a pretty big mix of soils, um, which can be interesting to manage because everything requires um, a little bit different management. But um, yeah, so what we've done in terms of some of the technologies required for the different soil types, we've obviously done some deep ripping on the lighter soils, uh, reefinating on the gravel soils, um, and on our heavier soils, uh, not necessarily technologies, but different techniques such as fallowing, um, and things like that to help yeah, those produce better. Yeah, so with my trial I chose to do um, some different fertiliser applications on a heavy loam paddock that was fallowed last year in 2019. The reason I chose this is because we've often had the problem of growing really nice healthy looking crops and then we get to September and they just run out of moisture and they don't fulfil their potential. Um, so we have this farm in South Wadi Forest and we always call this our hot and cold farm because one year will be really good when it's raining and the next year the rain cuts off and it's really bad. So I guess we're trying to limit the damage in the dry years or the years where the rain cuts off and then maximise our um, benefits in the good years. So yeah, so with our fallow trial, basically we tend to find an imbalance between moisture availability and nitrogen. We tend to be high on the nitrogen side. So I guess what we're trying to do is allow that soil to mineralise in a fallow year and create our natural N and then take advantage of that the following year with the added moisture so that that's more matched up and then the crop that's looking nice and healthy has that moisture at the end of the year to fulfil its potential. Yeah, so our nil plot is just a compound fertiliser, just a general uh, Agstar Extra, which is what we would use over everything. Um, so the nil plot has just had Agstar Extra and no additional nitrogen other than that for the year. Uh, then we've got a normal or a standard plot, which is what we generally apply to that paddock, which was our compound fertiliser, 30 kilos of urea up front and then another 40 litres of Flexian. And then our high plot is 30 kilos of urea at seeding, and then another 80 litres of Flexian, which is definitely a higher rate than we would ever use on that soil type. So I've tried to yeah, bump that above anything we'd usually use. I guess the main results will be at harvest when we find out how the heads are filled, how much grain's actually been developed in the head, and uh, whether the higher the higher applications of nitrogen have maybe burnt some of the grain off and uh, the difference in grain quality we might get off the different plots. In terms of expected results with the protein, um, I'm actually pretty unsure what we'll find because uh, some of our soil tests have shown even with the nil plot um, we've got pretty good nitrogen there. So yeah, I'm actually not sure what we will see there so I'm excited, so excited to find out. Yeah, so we've actually seen a reduction in herbicide use on the, the paddock we're following. Um, we're able to drop our radish spray rates down. We're getting away with radish sprays that probably don't work on most other paddocks because they're getting less radish sprays and getting a break from a, radish, a um, selective radish spray. Um, also fungicides, we're not, we haven't been using any fungicides on paddocks that have been fallowed. And 
we've actually been lucky enough not to have any insect damage as well. So basically, after seeding, it's only one pass with the sprayer and that's been it, which has been really good. Makes it life easy and more time to do other things. So. With the Gen Y project, um, to be honest, I've always felt that I haven't been too involved and I've always felt that I should be more involved because there's a lot of uh, young people in, around the district who are keen and involved and um, yeah, it's nice to interact with those people and um, bounce ideas off each other and everyone's got similar interests in mind so obviously very like-minded people so getting to um, catch up with them and talk to them about what they're doing and then uh, potentially implementing that on your own farm after looking at their trials. Yeah. Yes, I obviously learnt a bit about uh, planning a trial. Um, not that mine's the most well planned out or thorough, but um, yeah, even with that trial, it's shown me there's quite a lot of work goes into, goes into it. And um, especially when you're concentrating on seeding or spraying, and then you come across a trial it uh, makes it a bit more difficult to kind of work around it. But um, yeah, also I learned a, a bit off the other guys um, with a bit of ripping and uh, plaza ploughing and uh, salt rehabilitation in some of the other trials, which has been really interesting because there are also things that I'd like to try and it's good when it's trialled elsewhere sometimes. <laughs> yep, just like to say thanks to the Levy Group for conducting the uh, Gen Y Paddock Challenge. It's been a really good experience and look forward to staying more involved going into the future.